I'm still shook that like this is my life and that I get to take part in some of these opportunities. Like today was just a literal dream come true. day one of vlogmas this is my first year doing this and i'm really excited i i'm mentally preparing myself because i know this is not going to be easy but that's why i'm filming a few days in advance which i know is technically cheating but i know that i'm doing some fun things before the month of december hits so i figured i would just stock up and show you guys what's most interesting because I feel like that's the content you want to see anyway So let's pretend it's December 1st. So today's a really busy day for me um, It kind of cleared up in the afternoon a little bit because I was supposed to shoot content with my friend Nada Who you guys saw in my Lincoln vlog, which if you have not seen it I'll have a little swipe in here if you guys are interested. She had to cancel because she's just super overwhelmed also so uh, my afternoon cleared up but I think that I'm still going to be crazy busy uh, today. So I figured I would just pick up the vlog camera and bring you guys along. It's 10 a.m. I've been up since 7.30, believe it or not, getting ready. So I curled my hair, got all dressed. I'm all dressed up, you guys, obviously with the earrings and stuff. I have to shoot a campaign for Van Hoot. It's kind of festive. Like they have this festive cocktail that I need to shoot. So I obviously wanted to look all dressed up and put together um, to give off the Christmas vibes. Like look at this top, you guys. It is stunning. It's from Veramoda. It's so cute. It's open back, but I don't have it clipped because Alex is still in bed right now. So I, I couldn't do it myself, the struggles. Just a friendly reminder, if you guys see your fellow favorite content creators posting a lot of ads this time of year, uh, if you're not aware, it's actually probably where we get I would say about half our income for the year. Uh, for me anyway, that's how it is. So it, it might seem like it's like every day we're posting an ad, but truly this is how we make a living. Cause I know some people really don't like when people post ads, they think like people are selling out, but if it's products that we're genuinely using and genuinely love, I don't see that really as selling out because we have to make a living somehow. So if you do see your fellow content creators posting more ads than usual, that's why. And um, just a friendly reminder too, if they are some of your favorite content creators, just, just throw them a like, throw them a comment. It honestly makes a world of difference um, for us. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. I have to shoot the Van Hoot campaigns. I've filmed for it already, but it's just not the vibe that I was hoping for so I'm trying something new today and I hope that the photos turn out better like I hope I, I like them better because I love Van Hoot and I really want to create quality content that I'm genuinely proud of but it is on a little bit of a time crunch so I'm hoping that like I'll actually be able to create something that I'm that I'm super proud of and then at noon I have a really exciting collaboration I'm headed back to Ogilvy's believe it or not and uh, they invited me to check out their fifth floor. So they're opening a fifth floor um, at the downtown store here in Montreal. And uh, it's all going to be outerwear. So all like jackets and stuff, um, probably like hats, mittens. So that's, that's really exciting. And I just need to promote the fifth floor. And in exchange, I get a coat of my choice. So um, 
so yeah I'll, I'll bring you guys along for that as well you guys can sh give me your opinions i'll try some jackets on for you guys and if you do follow me on instagram which if you don't again shameless promo i'll have the link in the description down below or this is my at right here if you guys want to give me a follow or just check out my page i will have some stories going live um probably actually by the time this is up but um I'll have a, an in-feed post with the, the new jacket that I end up choosing. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, just make sure to check out the link and give me a follow over on there. And so the earrings are from Zara years ago. Uh, like I said, the top, and I have these like really nice velvet um, pants. Like this gorgeous velvet material. This is from Veramoda's holiday collection, so the entire fit is Veramoda, but like, these are so cozy, but also like they're pretty, like you can obviously dress these up. And then I don't know if I want to shoot here with the Christmas tree. That was the original plan, but I was sitting on the couch and it's just not really the vibe I was going for. So I'm going to see. I'm going to see. <laughs> So this is what I'm going to be wearing to Ogilvy's. It's all Veramoda, it's the same velvet pants and this really cute sweater. It's just super cozy. I wanted to bring something that was gonna be a little bit chunkier just to make sure the coat is gonna be like a good one for winter because I'm usually wearing chunky knits like this in the winter. So, yeah. <laughs> rent for events which is stunning and then in this room over here they have this gorgeous closet almost looking room where you can try your outfits on which I'm gonna do I picked some coats I pulled some coats and uh, these are three of them obviously all white and cream and uh, we'll see how they look. So this is the first one. I love the two tones and the different texture on this one. And there's obviously a hood. I look like a pillow and I love it. This one's very cute. Not sure about the hood. I think it's, I don't know, I think it's kind of a vibe. This one is Moose Knuckle, and I was not anticipating liking this one as much as I do. It's a longer coat, but I've been, I don't know, I feel like this is actually maybe optimal for winter. It's going to keep your legs warm, and I really like it. I love the color. The gold detailing is stunning. And there's a hood on this one, too, that's like less flashy. Not that I ever put my hoods up, but if ever I wanted to. I really like this one. So this one is Macage. I love the color and I love the texture, but I'm not crazy about the fit. I feel like this is something I would use, like wear to go skiing, but not as like an everyday winter coat. But still very cute, very soft. And the last one is a company called Quartz Co. And I really like this one too. This one I got in a medium and it's perfect. 
I don't know if I like this one better or the other long one. The moose knuckle one. I think this one's like a nicer color. I don't know if I prefer the gold detailing though, I'm not sure. And then it has a hood also. This one's really nice too. So, how stunning is this place, you guys? I am, I never wanna leave. Like I'm home here, it's stunning. There's a dressing room here, with like a full mirror. Like look at this. This is comfort, a la max. Those are the four coats I tried. Stunning. I'm like obsessed. Look at this view of downtown. So nice. I think I'm gonna go with this one, you guys. It's the Moose Knuckle one. I just. I'm in love, like I just love this one. I think it's so mature, fits perfectly. It's gonna keep me warm. I really, really like this one. Excuse my cheeks being all rosy because of the mask. But yeah. So I just pulled these boots and these ones to try with the coat. Um, they're gonna let me borrow them so that I can style them with the jacket for the post that I'm gonna do for them. So we're gonna see how those look. And I also picked up a Prada boot, which I think would look really cute too. go with the outfit. I think it's gonna look so cute. It's like a mini bag and it'll be like a pop of color to go with the fit. I'm sweating. I'm so hot you guys. I was, that was a huge workout. Look at these two bags. Freaking heavy. I have my coat in one, the shoes and bag in another. It was a workout. And I was in heels. So honestly, props to me. That was my workout for the day, except I'm actually going for a walk later with my friend Becca. <sighs> I'm like, I'm sweating, so let's pretend this glow is like highlight. Well, part of it is, but some of it's fully sweat. So I'm gonna show you guys what jacket I went with, which I think I already mentioned, but I'll just go through it all with you guys. And then I'll show you what shoes and bag I pulled. So I don't get to keep the shoes or the bag, but I just pulled them to style. So I'm literally gonna go out and shoot the look with the jacket for the pose that I'm doing. And then I have to return them. So I'm gonna return them probably on Monday. So the girl, Rachel, was so sweet. Um, she helped me out so much. She kind of like fulfilled the vision that I had to style the jacket. So first things first, I went with the moose knuckle jacket. It was just too stunning. So, show you guys. So I went with the one that had gold detailing. You guys can't see the full thing, but. You get the gist of it. It also has the thumb thing, which I love. I've, I haven't had a jacket with the thumb thing in a while. And I know this one's gonna keep me super warm. So I'm really excited and I'm really happy with it. Next up is the bag, which I'm so excited. I'm actually testing this out because I actually want the bag. Um, I've been eyeing it. I don't want it in this color. They didn't have the exact one that I wanted, but it is the hourglass bag. So I pulled the mini and it's this gorgeous blush pink color. So the boots are black. The coat is white and I figured this could be like the pop of color for the fit. It's the Hourglass Mini in the blush croc print. Um, it's it's stunning. I really love this bag. I want it in the biggest size um, and I wanted it in like the black leather, but it's just too similar to my Chanel. So that's why I haven't purchased it yet. But I actually was 
I never thought like I would buy the mini version of this bag, but it's really cute. So I'm gonna test it out while I'm like shooting the fit and see how I like it. You can obviously do it like cross body too if you want. Um, it's really cute and I love the gold hardware on this bag. It's just stunning. And then the boots, the boots are Gucci. And I went for something more simple, obviously, because the coat is already kind of a statement. Just for you guys here, so I can show you. So. Dust bag. This is the boot. So it's definitely more of a plain boot. There's also like the Gucci label in the front, which I thought would kind of match the coat. But otherwise, like they're classy, but nothing too out there. I wanted something very minimal. So I think these are gonna look great with the fit. And that's what I pulled. So those are the two pieces that I'm gonna be returning, the shoes and the bag. The coat is mine to keep, which I'm really excited about. Um, so if you're watching this, there is a fifth floor at Okovies and it's all outerwear. So if you guys are interested and you guys are looking for a coat, they have a whole bunch of different brands. I'm still shook that like this is my life and that I get to take part in some of these opportunities. Like today was just a literal dream come true and Rachel was such a gem she was such a sweetheart honestly like I can't think of a better person to have had this experience with she made it just so so perfect it's now like two o'clock it's past two o'clock actually which I'm freaking out a little because I need to shoot Van Hoot like the Van Hoot stuff needs to go out today I have not finished the content yet so I need to do that right now especially before the sun goes down and then around 4 30 ish 5 ish I'm gonna meet with my friend Becca around the canal we're gonna go for a little walk and it's gonna be really nice so without further ado I'm gonna go also so warm something up because I'm really hungry for lunch and for a late lunch and I'm going to get back to the Van Hoot content because I really got to get that out tonight. Alrighty guys, I just finished and sent in the approvals for the Van Hoot content. It's like 4.40 ish now. Um, so I am going to clean up, which is my least favorite part of content creation, as you guys can see. I still have my entire setup here. That needs to be cleaned up, and then I made a huge mess of the living room. So I need to put the table back there. This is a blanket that I used as like a pretend rug. Um... Yeah, so I'm gonna need to get things back in order. And in a little bit, I'm actually headed out to go for a walk with my friend Becca. Every Thursday, if not Thursday, we always pick one day a week, but usually it's Thursday that we meet up at the canal and we just go for a walk around the canal for about an hour. And it's really nice and we just catch up on our week together. I'm, I'm done pretty much for the day. I just have one more thing to do when I get home for a client. I need to do one post for one of my clients and then I'm, I'm done. And then tomorrow I'm helping my sister move, which will be day two of Vlogmas. So I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow when we're on our way to Ottawa. We met on Bumble BFF. Yes. No, merci. <laughs> She's a stunning queen. It's your vlog debut. It is. It's my first time. <laughs> we're getting tea and hot chocolate. It's and then we're going to out. It's, cold cold out. Yeah. it's giving us that extra boost to get out. Yep. For go, to go out. for a hot girl walk. Sip it once. I didn't explain that, that we go. I just said we go every week, but I didn't say. Like what we, we do and everything. We, we yeah. name them hot girl walks to yeah. make us feel motivated. Motivated, exactly. Yeah. You gotta manifest that hotness, you know. I love that. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you guys when I get home. Cheers.
Alrighty guys, so I'm going to call it a night. Happy first day of Vlogmas. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for my sister's move to Ottawa. Bye. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Is it there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about?